All right, I got a 2013 GMC Terrain right now. This has a 2.4 liter engine. You see, I got it up on the lift right now running it. And what I'm trying to do, we're, we're gonna set the transmission fluid level. And you'll notice uh, this is the front wheel drive model and I'm sure it's the same with the all wheel drive model as well. There's no dipstick. So you'll find there's a cap on top of the transmission where you put fluid in, but there's a bolt that you take out of the side that the fluid comes out of. And you have to have the transmission at a certain temperature and then you take the bolt out and you let the fluid come out of the transmission until it starts to just drip. You don't want it to have a steady flow of fluid coming out. You don't want it to be nothing coming out. It needs to be just enough where it's kind of like trickling out. So uh, we need to specifically have this temperature set to with the uh, automatic transmission fluid temperature needs to be set to 185 degrees up to 203 degrees Fahrenheit. Has to be somewhere in that window for the fluid level to be set properly. So right now you can see we're at 140. I actually have the vehicle running in the air right now. Uh, put it in manual mode, second gear, running it. Um, not really under load right now. You're supposed to go drive it around, but this is like a similar thing. We're making the temperature rise. We're gonna get this thing up and then we're going to add some fluid. I know it's low because it has leaking cooler lines, which we're gonna fix in the future. But right now uh, it's low. So we're gonna top it up. The guy's gonna come back. We'll fix that in another video. I'm just showing you how to set the fluid level. Right now we're getting the temperature up right now. Uh, you need a scan tool or some way to see what your fluid temperature is in order to properly do this. So, all right, you can see this bolt that's in here beside the uh, axle. We're gonna to, uh, take this off first. And it is, I think it's an 11. Yeah, 11 fits on there, good. We're gonna take that completely out. So you can see we got nothing coming out of there right now. We're gonna take this cap off up here. Just be careful, everything's really hot. Don't burn yourself. Stick our transmission plug. We got our fluid, Mobile One, Dextron, 6, ATF. We're gonna start pouring that in. Let me know when it starts coming out. What? Light. the whole liter we're gonna uh we got some more here the total capacity. Now. Yep. All right, so we just put in about two and a half liters. Now the 
customer did state it was slipping in second gear once it was hot enough. So we're just gonna let that run right now. You can see uh, it's right now about the point to stick the plug back in. We don't want it to be like consistently running out. We don't want it to not be running out. So I would say that's probably good enough. It's still just dripping away. So I'm gonna stick this plug back in here. I should have cleaned off a bunch of that dirt, but that's okay. And we'll tighten that plug down. Now I don't have a torque spec for you. It's just don't crank it on there, but make sure that it's tight. Okay, so now we can take our funnel out, get that out of the road. We'll put this cap back on here. And we should be uh, good to take it for a drive. You may want to, uh, we'll read the rest of the instructions. Uh, you may want to uh, shift it through gears, stuff like that. The fluid's gonna get cycled around anyways inside all the clutches, so. That's pretty much it as far as setting the fluid level without, you know, draining and refilling it. If you just like, we didn't drain any of the fluid out, we're just adding fluid, but that's the setting procedure for it. So, if you did a complete drain and then you want to fill it up, there's a couple more steps prior to what we just did where you have to initially add some fluid to set um, the fluid level so that uh, the pump will pick that up and stuff like that. You don't want to just run it with no fluid in there. Don't do that. Um, I'm sure there's other videos on that doing a complete drain and fill. But um, that's pretty much it for the video. Uh, hopefully this helps. If you got any questions, throw them in the comments below. Subscribe for more content. We'll see you in the next one.